All right, so let's make a top-down tileset. I have here already the base of my tile. I have a lot of tiles here. You only need three as a minimum to make a top-down tileset in Tilesetter. So let's start with making a sand and grass tileset. So I'm going to copy here, Control C, Control V, my two tiles. They are just plain colors, all right? You select both of them, right click, wheel borders, wank. And there we have that. And now let's just do the same thing that we did the last time. I'm going to search here for the tile that I need. I'm going to rotate them to fit my needs, right? And there we go, simple as that. Now, if you want to use the auto tile, you need to select the one in the middle and in tiling, you select one set and the same here, right? And if you select the both of them, you select one, shift, you select the other one, you will see that they are connected. So now let's, for example, paint with the grass a little bit here. And if I select the sun, it will automatically paint the tiles. One little thing that I found is that if you want to have a small patch of sand, you need to make this manually. So you need to select those tiles there and paint them like that. I don't know if this is something that the developer wanted on purpose. I think that this should be the minimum that you can paint like this, but maybe it will be added in a future. All right. So now here is the part where things get a little bit more complex. Let's drag my water tile here. And if I want to make a connection, for example, between the grass and the water, but I still want to maintain my connection from the grass to the sand, I need to use this same tile, All right? So you cannot copy it, you need to drag it and use exactly the same tile to make that work, All right? Right click, will border swung. Let's replace again. Now let's set the water also to wank, right? So now I can paint my grass and I can also paint my water and I can still paint my sand. But what I cannot do right now is to paint my sand on the water. So we need to make another tile. I'm going to drag again the same water that I use and the same sand. Left click, wang, and let's replace again. All right, let's see if this works. That works. And we need a bigger area to test this. Let me go back there. Here on brush size, you can increase the size of your brush. So let me paint, for example, a lot of water. And let's test our tile. We can drag this all here, all the tiles that we need. And let's paint, for example, some grass. We can paint the grass in water. Let's see, we can paint sand on the grass. We can paint water on the sun and we can paint water in the grass. All right. So as you can see, the three tiles are connected. That is pretty nice. All right. So there is that. Now let's see our variations. So you can, for example, come here, left click, drag and select. 
and this way you will paint randomly an item of that selection with the tear tool, right? If you were to use the pen, you will simply paint like all the tiles at once, right? You can also change the size of this to paint like that. Here's the thing, maybe you want, for example, more grass and you don't want you don't want so many variations so for example you can also select the grass with shift click and if you come here you press shift and you drag you will see that you will have this wheel so what you can do with this is if you go move your mouse horizontally you will select the tile if you move vertically you will increase the chances of that tile in my case i want more grass so as you can see now i am painting more grass than variation so this is pretty nice another thing important thing let's decrease this and let's see what happens if i paint a prop of grass in sand that is what happens now let's see what happens if I come here to tiling on the prop, I go to background and I select the grass and it is not working, I don't know why. Let me try with the other tiles, maybe, all right, I think the problem is that I need to select this tile instead, there we go. So you don't need to select the tile inside your scene region, but the tile that you use to work your tile set. And you can now paint the variations without problem. You can do the same for those tiles. Right, this is a little bit broken, I don't know why. I have no idea. But well, it's a new software, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it should work. It is a software, as I've said, new, it will get updates, it will get fixes. But right now, it is really incredible the amount of time that you can save with this, so you can right click, sorry, left click and export this as your tile set. Let's see. There we go. And you can use that for your video games. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to directly export your side view tile set to Unity. See you then. Now it's working by the way.